Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a super simple video that shouldn't take a long time. So it's essentially a week in my wash and go. What do I usually do to my hair from the first day, that is wash day, until the next wash day. So today is Saturday. Saturday, February 8th, I believe. This is the first day of my wash and go. It's completely dry. I love how my hair is feeling for first day. I have a lot of volume. And I did up that wash and go pretty quickly. Like, I didn't do a lot of sections because I was running out of time. And uh, this is what I'm working with. I'll come back tomorrow to show you how I wake up. But while I have you here, I'll show you how I prepare to go to bed. Okay, so... To go to bed, it's pretty simple. I have this scarf that I got from Diva Curl a long time ago. And then I have this um, scrunchie. Um, I actually made these myself, but any type of scrunchie will work. So what I do, this is my hair in a wash and go. I'm about to wash this full face of makeup. So what I do, I flip my hair upside down. Okay. And then I put it in that pineapple. Then I would fold my scarf in half in a triangular shape and wrap it around my head twice. Now it's really up to you. You can leave this hanging. If you want extra protection, you could do it like this to hide a little bit of your hair. For extra, extra protection, I sleep with a satin pillowcase. I'll link the one that I have in the description bar below. It's from Amazon. Pretty easy to find. So this is what I sleep with. I sleep like this. I'm about to wash this whole face for sure. And yeah, so I'll come back here, guys, tomorrow and show you how I style my hair tomorrow is Sunday. It's pretty much going to stay in a wash and go, but throughout the week, from Monday to Friday, you're just gonna get what you're gonna get. So keep on watching for day two. The next day. Hey guys, this is day two. I always forget to show this in my videos, but this is my shower cap. I do use a shower cap when I'm about to shower. So I just put it on top, just because I don't want my hair to get wet. So usually this is in my shower. where you want to part your hair so the first couple of days I do not do anything to my hair I do not add any product if I'm feeling fancy I can like put a serum but I don't have to and then um, I could also lay my edges I use this from cream of nature it does the job but I just don't like the smell of it it's a little bit too strong and perfumey and that's literally it guys i do not re wet i do not restyle my curls are still good in the front they have a little bit of frizz but just enough to give my hair a little bit more volume. Today is Sunday, February 9th. Hopefully I can keep up for the whole week, guys. Wish me luck because I tried this video multiple times and I never finished it. So I really want to finish this one for you guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. Early the next morning. Happy Monday. As you can see, my face doesn't really look happy because, well... It was a Monday morning. Similar to Sunday, I removed my pineapple and then now I'm adding a little bit of foam just in the perimeter of my hair to deal with a little bit of frizz that I was having. Um, it's the front and the back of your hair that is more important, so that's where I apply more product. Day four. I did the exact same thing, but this time around, I did not add any more product. I just shaped my hair how I liked it. As you can see, I'm having way more volume than the first day. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the day I was done. The next day. Hey guys, um, I don't think I'm going to wear a wash and go. I'm just going to wear my hair up. Um... But I could wear it as a wash and go if I wanted to, but I just don't feel like it today. 
So I'm just gonna put a little bit of leave-in conditioner around the perimeter of my hair and then put my hair up. To do my puff, I sprayed a little bit of water in the perimeter of my hair and then added a creamier leave-in conditioner. That will help me tame my hair down and then I will brush it all around and tie it up. Yeah, so this is all I'm gonna do to my hair. This is like a puff, so I'll see you again tomorrow. Next morning. Hi guys, last day. I had a scarf before, but this is what my hairstyle yesterday was. Today, it's Valentine's Day. Um, when you're gonna be washing this, it's gonna be long gone. But uh, yeah, I'm not wearing pink, I'm wearing black. <laughs> this is how my hair is feeling. It's feeling a little bit dry. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of water. This is just water. This will help my hair be more pliable. For my bun, I will part my hair down the middle. That's my favorite type of bun of life. Then I will add a little bit more leave-in conditioner, brush through with my tangle teaser just to detangle a little bit the perimeter, and then use my other brush just for like a finishing touch. And then when that's done, I will secure the ends with some bobby pins and finish it up with the brush again. This is one of my favorite looks ever. When it doubt, just do a sleek bun. Okay guys, this is it. This is how I put an old wash and go into a bun, a sleek bun. So this is how I'm going to work today and that's the end of my week. Tomorrow is Saturday. I will be washing my hair tomorrow. So that's the end of the whole week in my wash and go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, not forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe if you have not already. And I'm also on Instagram at Exotic Roots, so you can definitely follow me there. Until next time.